Hey everybody, hope you're having a great and wonderful day. I uh, It is release day here for Topps Finest 2021, and I did something that I thought I would never ever do, which is spend over $200 for a box of baseball cards, but I did it. Um, I don't know if you've been following along with the channel, but man, I have just not had a lot of luck in Panini products, so I have just kind of made it a decision that I'm not going to buy Panini products anymore. Maybe Chronicles, um, because it is pretty cool. But uh, the money I'm going to save there, I'm going to move it over to Topps products. And um, thought that I would start out by doing this. There hasn't been a lot of releases this year. And so I've been just kind of dying to buy cards. Um, and uh, had a lot of fun opening Bowman the last time. So we are going to do Topps Finest. Uh, really cool stuff. Mr. Mike Trout's on the front. Um, probably uh, the, you know, obviously, maybe arguably with Acuna, what he's doing. But probably most the best player in baseball right there on the top, uh, on the front. And uh, probably should be on the front of everything. But uh, <laughs> yeah, he seems like he is. But um we're looking for two chrome autographs per master box. So there's two mini boxes, six packs per box, five cards per each one. There's these um, really cool uh, die cut trouts. I think they're one in every three packs. There's a hundred cards in each pack, or I'm sorry, in, in the set. And then there's like an extended uh, 25 set, which I don't really get it. I don't know if they're short prints. Um, I don't feel like they are, but um, definitely uh, an extended uh, base set, which I guess the parallels are a little bit smaller. So not really seeing what was going on, but um, should be two autographs in here, a couple of numbered cards, and uh, and these are just really beautiful cards. So let's stop talking and let's get right into it and open this up. Like I said, this is the uh, most expensive product I've ever bought. Um, probably will not go much higher than this. And I think the reason that I kind of was like, I can buy uh, these, there's our two mini boxes. Um, I could buy these is that you do actually get a nice amount of cards. I can't spend like, you know, the Chrome Black or um, what is it? Uh, the Inception where you get like what, five cards or three cards for $200. At least I'm going to get about 60 cards in here. So let's get opening this up. i um, really excited about seeing what I get in here. Hopefully we do something good. Hopefully uh, my luck with the first time I open up something this expensive, uh, maybe I could get uh, something that uh, is, was worth the money. But we've got our six packs right in there in this little box. And we're going to pull that bad boy out. There is the... Um, the, uh, wrapper there looks exactly like the front of the box, um, like they always do. Um, this has, so no odds on the packs because they're on the box. Um, here's, that's the no purchase necessary stuff. And there's all your odds if you really, truly want to read them all. But let's get going. I'm excited about these. These are beautiful cards. Look like a Bobichette right there on the back. So we got one of the hottest players in baseball right off the bat, uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. I just did my all-star voting and I uh, definitely voted him in as the starting all-star first baseman. It's got a Raphael Devers, who is on the super hot Boston Red Sox right now. Um, we got us a rookie card of Joey Bart. I don't think... Are the, is the numbering on the front of the back? This is a refractor, so it just tells you right. There's the back of them. Oh, that's what they all look like. This one does say refractor on it. So not our number card or anything like that, but very cool. Uh, Joey Bart, uh, Shane Bieber, and Bo Bichette. So let's take a look at this. They look a lot like um, they do every year. I mean, that's you buy a certain set because it looks a little bit like it with a little bit of change. Um, but I really like these. Really, really awesome. Um, man, I'm just like sitting here a little bit nervous about these though, because I would like to go ahead and kind of sleeve them up as we go, which will slow down the video a little bit, but I'm going to try to be super fast about it. But don't want any of these to get scratched or messed up. So we'll sleeve these up real quick. And then we'll go to pack number two. All right, so pack number two, we've got Tristan McKenzie, rookie. Oh, that's a cool one. I thought that was something really crazy. Oh, so there's Legacy. So um, 
Looks like Robert uh, Roberto Alomar Jr. Um, is on there uh, with Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Uh, looks like we got a Masters card of uh, Bogarts. I actually voted for him for shortstop in the American League. He's having a great, great year. Mr. Stanton. And then Cody Bellinger, who is back and uh, was playing my Cardinals uh, just the other night. Um, and man, did they smack him around. And uh, Bellinger, like in his second at bat, hit a grand slam. Uh, he looks like he is. Hit, the first hit was like extremely hard. So it's kind of like this man, he is uh, um, back. His timing is back. Um, he looks really good coming back from injury there. So we haven't seen the autograph, haven't seen the numbered card yet, unless I missed it, but I don't think I have. Oh, it looks like we got a good one on the back. Nice uh, Key Brian Hayes. Oh, yes. All right. So not sure if you're uh, familiar with the channel, but I am a Cardinals fan, and very rarely in any of my 2021 products have I pulled a Dylan Carlson rookie. So really happy to do that. He has really kind of started turning it on. Um... Uh, um, lately, and so it's really, really cool to see that I actually got one. So, the, oh, <laughs> look at that, auto boys and ladies. Um, look at that, a 50, I think that's a gold autograph, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Beautiful card, there, folks. That is a nice auto. Boom, man. If I was like one of those guys with the, the weird sound effects and stuff, like I would, uh, you know, sound the horn or whatever. But that is a nice looking card. Oh, that's nice. That is nice, nice, nice. So our first auto was a beautiful one. I'm hoping that doesn't mean that our second one's just kind of mediocre. But man, there is, can't really beat that. So there's our numbered card. It's the 199. It's really hard to see there. Uh, these cards are really, really nice. But a nice Freddie Freeman to 199. We got a Zach Grinky, and then there's the rookie card of He Brian Hayes. So man, super excited about this box right now. This has been a great box. I was very hesitant to buy it. Uh, um, I was going back and forth because I don't know. My look is not super awesome in these things, but it is really nice. Um, very awesome box so far. And we still got three packs in the first box, mini box. So this, woo, beautiful boys and ladies and gentlemen. Uh, here we go. Pack number four. Evan White, rookie. Michael Conforto. Got a Matt Chapman, refractor. I can kind of tell that right there. And there it says it on the back. Uh, Jazz Chisholm, he is a really good rookie. He is having a really great year this year so far. I'm um, going to probably be fighting Dylan Carlson uh, for Rookie of the Year. Um, and then Anthony Rizzo. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, it's probably not a two-man race yet, but uh, Chaz, uh, Jazz Chisholm and uh, Dylan Carlson, I think, are probably leading that for the National League. Um, I'm not really sure who I would say is leading it in the American League. Um, but man, it has been really, really cool to watch, trying to watch as many baseball games as I can. I've just been really busy dealing with stuff at work and stuff like that. So don't always get a chance. Don't even get a chance to watch my Cardinals every night, but, um, but it's been fun. They've been, uh, winning. Um, they're in second place right now, get behind the Cubs. Freddie Freeman, Glaber Torres. Uh, there's another Masters. It's a rookie of... Uh, Cisco Sanchez. So it's funny because when I think of Masters, I don't think of a rookie. Like, I, how what has he mastered yet? So I think this is based on an old set. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, there's the back of those. So it's I guess it's just a moment. So it's a masterful moment. Making his first career postseason start in Game 2 of the 2020 NL Wildcard Series. Sanchez spun five shutout innings against the Cubs. You know, it's funny. I'll talk about it as I'm sleeving these up. There's a Jacob DeGrom who is going to win another Cy Young. I mean, the dude is a beast. And then a nice Josh Donaldson, the bringer of rain, which uh, really cool. Just a little side note real quick. If you didn't hear, uh, he scored the 2,000th. No, that can't be right. 2,000th, 2 million? Oh, I should know my facts. 
a, a run of the MLB. So, you know, here I go. I'm trying to talk and, and educate you, and then I don't really know. Um, but this uh, Masters, you know, it is weird that a, a great starting pitching nowadays is like five innings is considered masterful. I don't get it. I think starters should go like, I think a great inning, obviously nine innings would be great, but at least seven. Um, I, I think five is just way too little, but that's just me. Um, it's just weird to see pitch counts uh, for starters and they're like at a hundred and like five innings. And I'm like, yeah, throw some strikes people. Um, here we go. Charlie Blackman, Aaron Nola, we got man, we are the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. pack. Look at that. Out of 150. Man, I gotta say, I'm having a, a yeah. You want to talk talk about one of the uh hottest players in baseball, and this pack was all about him. So uh that first box was a definitely a Vladimir Guerrero box, and I will take it. Better than like if I had like three or four different uh pitchers or something like that. Uh, last two cards, Joey Votto and then a Blake Snell. Man, I got to say, that was a really good box. I will not argue with that box right there. That was awesome. Let's get into this second mini box. And let's hope that it is anywhere close to that first one. Um, let's aim higher. Let's let's just keep our aim high. And let's just have the best box I've ever had. So, um, still looking... I don't think I'm going to call my shot here, but I'm still looking. I've never, ever, ever pulled a one out of one. So I'm going to kind of mix these up because I think the auto is in the same place. So we'll just kind of mix it up and then I'll probably pull it here on the first one. But um, never pulled a one of one. I think the lowest I've ever pulled was out of 10, 25. So um, numbered cards haven't had the best look. There's uh, Steven Strasburg on this very, very struggling Washington Nationals. Anthony Rendon, we got as an up down, upside down one of Cisco Sanchez to 300 right next to his base card there. So that's more of what I thought the box would be like. <laughs> but he is, a, he is a good rookie there. Um, very good pitcher. And yes, the last card, uh, he is injured right now. But he is one of my PCs. Really like him, Mr. Trevor Story. So it's awesome that I got his uh, card here in the box. Sorry, I'm slowing down, everybody, to sleeve these. But I just want to keep them really nice coming out of the box. That chrome finish is absolutely beautiful. We'll try to get this video under 20 minutes, but we will see. You know, if you've ever watched anything that I... Kind of go off on rant. So there is Ruiz. Um, there's our second autograph. Um, so yeah, so it is kind of like you get this major awesome hit and then you get a pitcher um, auto, but uh, very cool. At least they're on card and um, not numbered on this one, but uh, Debbie Garcia, I haven't really heard much about him. Don't know if he's good or not. You guys, uh, you Yankee fans out there will have to let me know if... Uh, if he has any good, it looks like this is probably be our numbered card, the M uh, the uh, MVP from last year, a purple out of two fifty of Jose Abreu, an Alex Kiroff rookie, which is uh, here he's a pretty good one, and then a Juan Soto. So definitely some good cards in here. Let's get these sleeved up, and Mr. Soto, who is really having not the greatest season. He's kind of having kind of right on par with what uh, the Nationals are doing. Um, just just really struggling. So I know a lot of the talk around here, at least in St. Louis, is that uh, the Cardinals are going to maybe make a trade for uh, Max Scherzer, who is a St. Louis guy. Um, and uh, um, it kind of makes sense because they definitely help. You know, here we are. Um, F Jack Flaherty is down. Um went down with an injury and guess what how he got it he got it by swinging the bat so I will say over and over and over I am up for the DH I, I just don't think in this day and age when you're paying uh, uh pitchers that much money that um they should be swinging a bat I I know it's about strategy and all that kind of stuff but give me a, a professional hitter trying to hit the ball and give me professional pitchers trying to pitch. All right, I'm getting off my soapbox. Nice refractor rookie of Bobby Dalback. 
We got us uh, Jackie Bradley Jr. And then there's Debbie Garcia, his just base rookie card. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out with me today on this. I know a lot of people are going to start coming out with videos, and so I really do appreciate it um, if you watch this and, and just let me know what you think about this product. Um, I really like it. It's beautiful, beautiful product. Looking forward to Top Series 2, which comes out what, next Wednesday on the 9th, I think, unless they push it back. It's been very unpredictable with everything. Uh, baseball card releases, I know they, they pushed back. A whole bunch of stuff, like Prism got pushed back. Big League is still out, and I love me some Big League. I love the price of it. You, you want to talk about how this is expensive. I love spending like 30 or 40 bucks on a hobby box of cards, and I really do like Big League. Um, there's Mr. Lindor, who is, I don't even think I need to say it, definitely struggling. Josh Bell, uh, there's a nice rookie, Jake Cron Cronenworth. I think he's going to be a really good one there for the Padres. Javier Baez and a Kyle Lewis. Your AL Rookie of the Year last year. So, yeah, I love the design of these cards. Um, they're really, really nice. And uh, love the idea that you get, you know, some numbered cards. You get some refractors. You get uh, the, the, uh, the guaranteed autos. This is just some really, really nice cards. All right, we got two packs left. Like I said, thanks for hanging out with me today. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, uh, many of you leave kind words for me, and I just really do appreciate it. There's a Clark Schmidt uh, rookie card. There's another one of those legacies. So we've got Ernie Banks and Anthony Rizzo. Got another Masters of Glaber Torres. A William Contreras rookie card. And then a Ryan Mountcastle rookie card. It's funny, I think I was watching a card opening pack of this this morning um looked like somebody kind of got it early or whatever and uh i think they had the exact same pack with the mount castle at the end of the Contreras at the end but those legacies are pretty cool I'm not a big huge cubs fan as you probably can guess but uh, those legacies are pretty cool all right we got one last pack and uh then we'll do like a little recap and then we'll get out of here um Pretty happy with this product. Very nice auto. That that Vlad auto is awesome. There's a Whit Merrifield, JD Martinez, who is tearing it up this year. Got another Masters rookie card of uh, Alec Baum, who uh, definitely was a, one of the hottest things, uh, hottest cards going uh, before the season. He hasn't really been doing great this year, but uh, we'll see. Max Kepler in those sweet uh, blue uniforms of the Twins. I love the blue throwbacks. Cardinals. Twins, you name it. I love those blue throwbacks. And then our last one is Ian Anderson, a really good, um, a really good pitcher for the Braves. Um, Braves are starting to turn it on, man. They have got so many great players. I was just watching the Braves game yesterday and uh, saw that uh, Dansby Swanson and um, Ozzie Albies both got their 500th hit. So that's really, really cool. They got them both in the same day. That is really, really cool. And then obviously Acuna Jr. is tearing it up. So there's our pack slide, things of cards there. Let's kind of put these in here. We had a Jose Abreu to 250. We had our Debbie Garcia rookie, uh, base rookie. We got us a, um, a blue Vladimir Guerrero. And then the big one there is the Vladimir Guerrero gold to 50 autograph. Very, very cool. We got some other refractors in there. We got, uh, I don't think, I, I think there was only one color per box or whatever. So Thank you all for uh, taking the time to watch. You guys have a great day. Hopefully, I'll see you real soon with Tops Series 2. Um, we'll definitely get a box of that as it releases as well. So thank you, everybody. Have a great one, and we will see you later. Bye.